Ahoy there, everybody! Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 4 of Timberborn, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Alright, got some hungry beavers. There we go. Just had them all eat. This is a tiny map? It is. That's the challenge. Let's start using the planks for these triple floodgates. That's next. And then the idea is to be able to store a large amount of water in this spot. And that will protect us from even more. And I can release the water into the river if I need to. Which means I don't even really need a new deep water pump or anything like that. It's pretty convenient. And then once that's done, I'll start work on a mega project to contain a lot of water. But uh, we're not there yet, as I keep insisting. I'm going to pause this uh, because my population is sort of capped at the moment. I'm going to keep it capped. I'm not quite ready to add additional people as um, my beavers have been going hungry. I don't want to... Uh, Increase demand for food. They'll catch back up, because soon... Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Prioritize potatoes over carrots, and uh, we'll start baking the potatoes, and that will get people fed more efficiently than carrots. And there's my floodgate. Adjustable height floodgate. And we'll build the other, uh, other two... Now, you can see very visibly that the water level uh, where we've been drawing water is lower than the water level where we haven't. But the water level that we haven't isn't full either. It does evaporate over time. Uh, water storage inside tanks are perfect, but uh, tanks are expensive. They take, up, they take up physical room. The larger tanks require a lot of gears, which are particularly expensive. So the cheaper route uh, is, of course, to go tankless and just hold water and I, I'm more intrigued by that than just sticking it in a bunch of tanks is there a better way to see water levels sure yeah you can actually lower the layers too um, other than the camera views so for that I think what you're referring to is this where I would have the depth marker it costs science points but I'll unlock it for you so you can see so we'll put a depth marker here Oh, no, I can't reach that. Uh, we'll put a depth marker here and here. And I'll prioritize that just to show you. So these depth markers will actually tell you exactly what your height of water is. So that it's not a mystery. But they, you know, cost, it, cost science and, and logs and planks. So. All right, there we go. So the water level here is 0.89 out of 1. And the water level here is 0.72 out of 1. So because we're, we have the deep water pump, you can see the difference of these two. This one staying up much higher than the other. This was a nine-day uh, a nine day drought, and we haven't used any of the water from this. So we've lost about 10% water in two and a half days. You can do the math. Uh, of course, if it's deeper, it's better because it... Um, it evaporates from surface uh, area, not from total volume. So deep water uh, will evaporate slower than wide, shallow water. Which is why flooding this whole area here into one large, shallow pond is not that great of an idea because it takes up a lot of physical area and it doesn't actually help that much. Hey, thanks for the... Uh the host. Cheers. I didn't even get an activity feed on that, I think, because of the host size. But thank you for the host. Can you dig it deeper? Yes, with dynamite. Which is a later tier tech. We'll get there. You would need a lot of TNT, yeah. You would need a lot of TNT. It's not something that you're going to want to uh, count on to have too early on.
Oh, to flood is a temporary thing. Yeah, it would work as a temporary a temporary measure against uh, against dehydration. Sure. All right, our second triple floodgate is almost done, and then we'll have the third pretty soon thereafter. What about raising the dam? Uh, what do you mean raising the dam? Okay, six days left. 0.65 water here. 0.85 here. And you can reset it to adjust to the current maximum. It can show you the sort of, you know, variability that you allow. I'm going to pause these woodcutters and employ them as, uh, as inventors instead. I'm also going to allow the, uh, the breeding tanks to start breeding again. Okay, so we're almost done with that last triple floodgate, and then all that we need to do is to build these levees, and we'll have the ability to store uh, a somewhat generous amount of water uh, in, at a clip. And that will protect us from the, the sort of next, because this was, what, a nine-day drought? So our next drought might be like a 12-day drought, and this is enough water for probably a 12-day drought. I'm not going to bet on it. I'm going to continue working on uh, projects that will help prevent um, us from perishing. But, uh, yeah, this is a good project. Yep, yep, yep. So the levees on the east side are done, and then we just have to work, or almost done, just one left. And then the west side levees will have to be built. Uh, I definitely need to re-employ a forester because my, uh, my maples are not getting regrown. Well, shame. You, berry person, you're fired. Go work as a forester. Okay, two more. Oh, yep, we're done. Triple floodgate is done. So now all that's left is working on the levees. And then... Now that uh, this project doesn't require planks, I can start to do the raised platform here. I'm actually going to just delete the structures that are on the roof so I can see more easily rather than using the layers. But um, even though I could use the, the layer tool, but the, this works for me. So is that where I want them all? Actually, maybe I'll have another... I'm going to see if I can't have another ladder here. Let's see about that. So if we had a lumber mill in this spot and then a lumber mill in that spot, that works fine. Yep. Okay. Yep, that's fine. And then we can have additional structures uh, running this way to the left. I'll just delete these for now. These are sort of future projects. All right, so that's where the planks invested will go, and that will free up some foot space for everything else. Um, instead of putting it into the temple. 
My forester is putting the uh, the maples back. That's good. I'm going to show you my favorite way to store a lot of water. I know chat is just continues to talk about it. Explosives are not a good way to store a whole lot of water because it's very, very, very slow. It takes uh, quite. It takes years to build up a lot of explosives um, on the hardest difficulty, just because of resource scarcity and the like. So the best way to do it is with levees, not explosives. Levees are cheap. You can source twelve wood much faster than you can source explosives. Um, explosives require mechanical power to produce, and they require paper, and then they require the explosive factories. Whereas if you can just build up a lot of levees, um, that's just a lot less expensive. And that's definitely the route uh, that I I preferably go. So I'm going to use a little bit of explosives to do it, but not a lot. And you'll see. Just don't hold your breath because it, it takes a bit. Uh, maybe I want it on the side like this. Free up some space. Okay, so I'm also going to have a... Um, I'm also going to have a stairway system up here, cutting down the commute time to get to the top. And that is actually going to become my priority. You know, actually, uh, scratch that. This is not the fast way to delete things, but whatever. I'm going to put this here. Not much of a difference, but it's closer to the uh, the builder's district, and therefore it's ever so slightly faster, but not much. not by much, but ever so slightly. And it also allows me to put another uh, uh, breeding pod in if I want it. All right, so these levees are just about done. These side levees are now done, so I can make uh, this levee here. And, uh, yeah, we'll be good. I can also design it with overflow control if I really needed to, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't really, again, I don't really care when it floods a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. Wow, all those birch are just gone now, aren't they? So two levees left. Uh, oh, construction site too far from builders. Yeah, there's um, there's no line of sight here because you can't build from the stairs. So one of the ways I could I could fix this is to put a, a stairwell here and let them walk across like that. A little bit more expensive, but I can afford it. It's not a big deal. If I wanted to fix that, I would have just moved this platform um, south by one. So we have 2.6 days of uh, the drought left. I'm probably not even going to need to tap the water down here. Uh, but if you're curious, the water levels now are 7, or 0 0.71 and 0 0.29. So I have about 30% water left in my river after 7 days or so. So most of the platforms that I queued up are almost done, and then we can finish up uh, this structure here. And actually, I'm going to have this shaft turn switch spots. It's going to be easier for me to stack it like this, I think. Cool. That'll be, that'll be good. So with this path here, I can start working on my really water mega project. Sort of. Eventually. 
because I know you guys are eager to see it. Everyone keeps saying this map is tiny. Yeah, it is. That's the challenge. It's a beautiful challenge. I really, really enjoy it. Okay, so the stairwell is done, and as you can see, the path to get up here is a lot shorter. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to spend some of my hard-earned science to try to get up here. So I'm going to want one to... What is that, a double path? Yeah, a double platform. Uh, that looks to be another double platform, and then a triple platform. Cost a lot, but... This is going to be great. Actually, I'm going to move it over one. Um, you'll see why eventually. But uh, yeah, let's put the let's put the path here. So I've unlocked all heights of all platforms now. Oop, that needs to be triple, and then a quadruple, triple, double, single. Stairway to heaven. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So here's the plan. The plan is I'm going to use my explosives to create a little stream here that trickles out to a massive holding tank out on the mountain. So then after this stairwell up here is done, I'm going to create levees uh, in sort of a square uh, pattern. I'm going to create... Uh, maybe I should angle this then. I'm going to create levees in a square pattern to be able to hold uh, like a, a truly ridiculous amount of water up in the mountain and then, like Nestle, charge an arm and leg for people to drink it. Boom! Nestle! Eat it! I hate Nestle. But, uh, yeah, okay. I, I digress. Um, let's make this turn... It's going to be a little bit more expensive, but let's make this turn sooner to try to leave as much room for our... Uh, our... Um massive uh, aquifer project. Oh, but there's a tree in the way. Yeah, sorry. Bye-bye, tree. Uh, this metal here I'll eventually collect later on for a shredder. I'm not going to get into that right now because it's not necessary to know about. Uh, and this is the highest priority. Please kill that tree. Everything hinges upon the tree's death. Ma -ma 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 murder it. And then that will be a double platform, so this will be a single... There we go. Oh, no, that's, yeah, double platform single. All right, so now we have a stairwell. So then the idea here is to create levees that line the map like this. I'm, they're literally not going to be this, but create a very deep levee to be able to contain um, a whole bunch of water. So have the mountain stream trickle down and then fill up a giant tank. That's the sort of concept. And it's way cheaper to build up with levees than to dig down with dynamite. Uh, which is why I'm going that route. The route of the levees. And this levee is almost done. I could use the location of the stairs as part of the dam. Um, I could if I put levees there, but the problem... Well, maybe here in this tower, this part of the tower, which I've already, of course, put logs in. But yeah, that's that's a good idea. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to rip this up and do just that. So this will be part of the levee wall. Thanks for the idea. There. That's part of the levee wall now. <clears throat> I lost a few logs, but, you know, whatever. What's a few logs? Alright, we only have a partial day left. And we have .09 water left. Uh, I'm just going to stop that water pump and put employ them over here at this water pump. So we, we survived the nine-day uh, drought without even using this uh, contraption here. 
This contraption will be for the next route. And we're already working on the Mega Levy. I want to add a path. Oh yeah, I'm gonna to want to put a path here. And then probably up here when I want to cut down these birch. Or uh maple. They're not birch. They're the good trees. And then once we're up here, I'll probably also want to put some ramps around here so I can get all of the maple, not just the maple at the top tier. Drought ended. And I have 0.05 water left. Yep. Uh, so now that the drought's ended, uh, I can actually lower the floodgates because I don't want to overflow anything. And I am going to make it a top priority to build this water wheel. Because this water wheel... Um, and actually put the... Uh, put an intersection there that's proper. Uh, this water wheel will power these two lumber mills no problem. And then I can have these two power wheel walkers do something else. And this... I have plenty of lumber to be able to build that quick. That would be a nice shortcut. Okay. Let's pause that and unpause this. So we're not at the natural flowing height yet. But you'll see the natural flowing height soon. There's the water wheel. And as soon as this power shaft T intersection is done... Uh, we'll be able to power up these without hamster, or, uh, beaver power. Hamster power. Ha! Okay, there we go. And I still have, uh, 80 horsepower to spare. And you can see my stairwell has, uh, come together. Take some time. So... Some of these levees here are going to need, um, like, support platforms, maybe. We'll see. Uh, let me actually delete that one. Because the game can get a little annoying as to what it allows you to do. So, yeah, you can see the water level slowly climb back up. Uh, those two new unemployed, let's put them as uh, lumberjacks, trying to get this birch field cleared I'm just pausing that because there's sort of like a PEMDAS order of operation that needs to be adhered to. Alrighty. Next up is to start to move these vertical and then to work on gears. I'm actually a little slow on making my gears. Looks like this maple is gone. And then also my berries and food are like near zero, so... Let me go fire one of these tree cutters and employ them as a berry collector so that the tanks don't go empty. My farmers are not very good at supplying the food. Uh, chances are I need some additional farm fields uh, sown. So another thing they could do here is to, now that I'm slowly moving away from um, pine, uh, it would be imperative, or uh, not imperative, but a really good idea for me to create a path over here to allow the forester to force this area full of uh, maple. So this here is going to become my highest priority, allowing the forester to forest uh, and, and plant a whole mess of trees so that I, uh, I can free up this area for farming. So if I'm freeing up this area for farming, let's just um, cancel it. 
because it's within the range of the uh, the the farmer, and we'll leave like this strip here, and maybe this here, I guess, as trees, because the uh, the farmhouse can't reach there. And then as this path goes across, we'll be able to put maple down everywhere here. And then anywhere that there is birch, not maple, that is not fully grown, I'm just going to rip right the heck out of the ground because I don't care. I ain't waiting for it to grow, even though it is nine days max. Be gone, birch. Is Wayne Brady going to hack a birch? Ooh, new coffee. Hey! Cheers, everybody. To High Beaver Society. Can my builders reach? The yeah, my builders can reach everything here. Especially now that the bridge... So, if we take a look at the, uh, the Forester's Range now. The Forester's Range includes all of this sub-valley because of this new little walkway bridge. And then, a kicker here. I am also going to put two platforms here and here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put two platforms there and there to have the forestry trees. No, 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 maybe maybe it's just one side. I take that back. Because the forestry flags don't need to be built on the ground, so I'm going to build them on platforms to reduce the amount of ground use that I, ground cover that I have. That way I free up even more space for uh, maples. Max, max mapling. That's the plan. Uh, taking a look at my Tower of Babel over here. It's going well. I think... Yep, it's going well. And we're starting to harvest the potatoes, which is good, because I was hungry. Another thing that my constructors can be able to do... I feel bad doing it, because it's a lot of precious trees. But I'm going to pull up these trees... Uh, so that we can start planting some additional crop. It might be good to get a grist mill soon. I haven't really decided if I'm going to want to make that jump just yet. But, um, it's probably not a bad call. And then here, we'll have the forestry flags. In lieu of these flags here that I'm going to eventually empty out. So, let's build these. And then this gives me the ability to move my um, my deep water pump uh, onto the water here on platforms, uh, removing it from from the shoreline as well. Uh, in fact, I'll I'll set that up as well. That way, we can have even more trees. I could do a, a stairwell here. Uh, so the forester can access over here, but for, for me to do that, I'd need to probably create a path for an honest run at it, but okay. I lose 10 and gain 15. It's still a net positive, but not a massive net positive, if that's a fair assessment. And then when this bridge is done, I can actually remove uh, this. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm calling it audible. I'm going to use these platforms here that used to be paths, and that will become my water pump. My water pumping area, because I'm not going to need this path anymore once these um, these lumberjack flags are, uh, are emptied. Because I don't need to really walk over to this corner anymore. Orange Chaos, thanks for gifting out a sub. Uh, okay, all right. Cannot wait to have a giant field of maple. And then the eventual goal is all of the trees that I will have will be this maple valley here and not any pine up there. I'll eventually replace this pine with probably more farmland or something else. I don't know. Yo, Birch, get out the way. Oh, we have a drought coming. Well, so for this next drought, we do have this levee floodgate area 
obviously this is incomplete, um, but we do have a lot of what we need to survive a longer drought. So we didn't even use the water down here in last drought, so I think we're good for drought preparation. Without a drought. Uh, doubt. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that path did not help me at all. I'm going to not use it. This land here I'll use somehow else, sometime else. But it it gave me uh it gave me one single planting spot at the cost of like ten. Worst deal ever. But that's just due to range. It's not a big deal. The real way to do it would be for me to build a temporary forester here just to plant some blueberries back here and then delete the forester. That'd be a that'd be another way to do it. Because blueberries don't need to be replanted. Whereas um whereas uh trees obviously do. Oh, and I think these aren't cued to cut. Because why would they be fully grown? Alright, and this is empty. Sweet. So then we also reclaim all of this spot as well. For uh, planting. I think that's within range, right? Oh, uh, yeah. It's within, in, within range. Great. I do have two unemployed people, so let's open up some inventors for now before I know what else to do with them. Raise the triple levy? I don't need to raise the triple levy just yet. Um, I'll need to do it only like half a day in preparation of the drought. Doing it too early and it's just going to flood everywhere and um, remove work spaces from being able to be used. Uh, which is not a great idea, I guess. New crops. So let's get some more carrots. And... Then I'll have potatoes planted over here as well. Oh, but they're already working. Hmm. I think my bottleneck actually might just be the lack of extra farmhouses. So I'm going to get a second farmhouse here. And then in this little spot here, just because it's cute and I can nest it in there, I'll put a uh, water tank. Not that there really needs to be one. I'm not Bugs Bunny. I don't believe you. Thank you for the follow. So if you're not Bugs Bunny, who are you? Roger Rabbit? Maybe you're just Elmer Fudd. I'm going to slow down on my uh, child grow tanking, or whatever you want to call it, because um, I've, I've got uh, my pop sort of maxed. And I'm going to unlock a row house. I forget how tall. Oh, they're too tall. Crummy. Okay, I'm not going to build a row house then. There's nothing that's like two by two that I could stick in there that would be like reasonable, which is unfortunate with a solid roof. I didn't lay these out kind of the way I wanted to. So now there's there's a gap. I don't I, don't, I didn't want the gap. I'll just use TNT to blow up a hole later on. A problem to be solved with explosives. I'm a little worried about a, a tree shortage. Um, well, we're about to get up here, so maybe I'm not that worried. Because as soon as we get up top, uh, there's all these maple. But the forester is, is catching up, and there's a lot of maples that just haven't grown yet, so... Uh, cutting down these pines that are incompletely gr grown. Going to set me back a little bit, but uh, I, I accept it. It's fine. We'll manage. All right, so here's the second farmhouse. Wow, they built that fast. Uh, let's put some farmers in there just to, to top up our food because our food's not that high. And one of the farmers went to work somewhere else. I'm not sure where they're working. But currently, there's no trees to cut down here, so I'm going to fire some of my lumberjacks and 
put them as inventors. And we're wood starved again. One to harvesting, one to planting for best efficiency? Sure, I'll do that. Suckle the crops. I like it. Alright, we have 1.3 days till the drought hits. I don't know if I'm going to have enough wood to get out here in time. I'd like to. But I think I've... Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be all that possible unless this pine grows soon. So with that pine not growing, I'm just going to fire my lumber, uh, my uh, lumber mill workers and employ them as inventors because there's really no wood to mill at the moment. And we'll just focus on food and water. Uh, so yeah, I have, this game is set on hard difficulty, so the, dra the droughts last longer and longer and longer the longer you play, and they get to be ridiculously long, so you really do need to start to prepare for them. On normal difficulty, they kind of ramp up and then plateau. On hard difficulty, they go way up and then eventually plateau, but at a ridiculously long level, where you have to be very, very well equipped to last between, um, between droughts, or you die. You know, the ever specter of dehydration death. So, that's kind of what we're preparing for here, if you were wondering, is to, you know, not die. Um, given that I'm a little, uh, I'm a little um, starved for... Okay, so there's some lack of overlap. So these last three here are going to go back to tree, or two? Yeah, the last two are going to go back to trees. Um, due to the, the fact that I'm a little bit uh, wood-starved, uh, I'm going to plant more carrots that don't require wood to eat, even though they're less fun of a food source, just because I'm, you know, limited resources and all. Just the way it be. And I'll probably also plant in here, too. If I could just get an overabundance of food and not have to worry about it for a bit, that's fine. Works for me. Bring on the carrots. Yeah, day reminder. Okay, so let's raise the gates. Last gate first. Overflooded. Next gate. I actually might not have done this in time. Okay, it's flooded. Last gate. I'll have... Yeah, okay, we're good. This water level's at 0.94, so it's not maxed, but it's close to max. It should overflow and max out. Thanks for the reminder, Cruzio. Yep, alright, one. And... One. Okay, so we have maximized the amount of water that I can store right as the drought started, and it's only a nine-day drought, so we already have passed our nine-day drought, so we'll be fine. We'll be totally, totally, totally fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw water from this uh, deep water pump and not the one up here, leaving this river untouched. And we'll draw from this one until this one gets a little bit lower and then we'll switch. Okay, I'm just making sure that uh, they overlapped the same zone. They do. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, wood. Logs, 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 logs. Oh, there I missed one pine spot. Maybe two. If I, um, yeah. Alright, so we're, we're, we're good. Oh, we're starting to get some, a little bit of wood trickle here and there from the pine. Once I get the, uh, the maple really sewn, uh, we, we'll be fine, though. Just gonna take a while. 
All right, so these materials are going to these levy, and, and we'll make sure that this is like the highest priority for us to work on. The levy's up there. All right, I'll try to play on maximum speed to get through this drought. We're already one out of nine days in. I have someone unemployed. I don't even know if I have an employment location for them. I, uh, I kind of don't have a spot for them to work. Oh, you know what? I have this tree that I could cut down. I, like, planted it sort of ceremoniously to be pretty, but I'm so starved on wood, I'm going to chop that up. <laughs> yep. When you're just so poor, can't help it. I forgot about that one because it was hiding behind the hamster wheel. Another benefit of putting the reservoir up here is it's going to hydrate an immense amount of our terrain. All of this up here can be hydrated as a result, which would be really good. Maybe not pause your birth entirely? Uh, that's a good call. I don't think I was at risk because I'm actually overpopulated. I have some homelessness, but yeah, I'll keep it unpaused. But yeah, you can have a, a surprise die-off. So if you check my population, Actually, we don't really have that old of a population, so I'm not really at risk of a old age die off. Um, you can't put platforms over the top of fields. No, I think you can put the uh, metal platforms, maybe, but not uh, regular platforms. No, the regular platforms, as you can see. I can't. It's hard to demonstrate, but I can't drag over the farm fields. I, I, I don't know about metal platforms, but they come much, much later. And given that this is a diorama map with a very severe limited amount of um, scrap metal, uh, that's not that viable of a solution. The amount of scrap metal I have would allow me to do some of it, but not that much of it. So... Checking the water levels. In two days, I've gone 10%. And then this one is at uh, 65%. So I'm going to switch over maybe in a day or two from this water pump up to this water pump. Uh, drawing. Because I, I don't want to dehydrate this area completely. Because if I dehydrate this area completely, the trees stop growing. And that's kind of a problem for us. God, it's slow. I have not been managing my forest all that well. I should have um, I shouldn't have tapped into the pine so early. But hey, live and learn. Well, hopefully live and learn. And not die. Okay, I do have a lot more unemployment, but I just really don't have anything for anyone to do at the moment. I wish I had more inventors built in preparation for this sort of mass unemployment, but I don't. So, you know, I have, I have some, I have like seven people that don't really have things to do, which is okay. I mean, they're being fed, they're being watered, they're just not being productive. Actually, I have a lot more than that, because my farmers are also idle. So, that's four, that's like 11 potential. That would be a lot of research if I had the, uh, the inventors built. Hmm, oh well. How close are some of my oldest maples? Yeah, my oldest maples are not that far along. Oh, well, some of them are like in the almost 60%, but that's that's not that long because um, maples take 24 days, so 60% of 24 days still means that I have... They won't even be done by the remainder of this drought. How about a builder's hut? Well, I'd have to unlock it, uh, but currently... Building is definitely not my bottleneck because my builders are idle and waiting at the district center, so that would benefit me not at all. 
Not sure if you thought it would benefit me, but it wouldn't. A hauler's hut would benefit me, but again, I don't have building materials. And my, if my, so I'll put it this way. If uh, the Yodaville District Center has idle workers out front, it I means I don't have guy. need for builders or haulers. And I c commonly have people just idle here, waiting at the district center to do something. And these guys act as workers and haulers. Now, there, there is something you said for the hauling center. The hauling center, uh, the haulers work at higher efficiencies, the hauling post, uh, because they're just stronger. So they'll haul double the amount that a normal hauler will haul. So they could have benefit, but they don't really have benefit until I really am bottlenecked on hauling labor, and I'm not yet bottlenecked on hauling labor, so I, I might as well just leave it alone. Because it's, it's not that much of a problem. Okay, so let's pause that water use and unlock up here. Because the water level's rather low down here now. It's at 25%, so we'll just leave it alone. Let them keep their water. So yeah, hauler's hut would be a good, good call, but there's not a lot of hauling that I actually physically need to do right now. Um, later on, once I have a lot of, like, industries, gear and metal and all the other things, as you can see, paper, printing press, shredder, and scavenger flag, all that kind of stuff, yeah, then, yeah, we'll, we'll want some haulers. But, um, right now I'm, I'm definitely building lean. I could wa let some water flow to balance it out. Um, I could, but I don't need to. They're not at risk of drying out. If they are at risk of drying out, I'll let water flow down, but there's no benefit to me. Um, because letting water flow down there means that these farm fields up here go dry and my crops dry out and die. So I'd rather have, you know, I'd, I'd rather have water where I feed myself than where I tree myself. <laughs> tree myself. Ah, the log trickle's killing me though. We do have some pine that are about to pop, though. I don't have any decorations for speed bonuses yet. That that might be a good idea. Uh, again, once I have wood for it. To be able to satisfy some aesthetics. Like a bench or a shrub. They're pretty, pretty cheap for the speed bonus. All right, so with that levy done, um, the rest is planks-based stuff, which means that I guess I can employ people on the wheel and the mill because I'm going to need some planks, so I might as well get, get planking. And let's... Make this the priority so that we can get access to the maples. That's going to help out with their our wood limitations. You've always found to plant way more maples than you ever need. Well, that's what I'm doing here, I think. And this is a lot of maples. I just didn't get planting in time. Got ahead of me. But my, my food... Um, my limited food amounts... Uh, definitely have somewhat been resolved as now I have hundreds. Another thing I could do is just pause the potato grill. I'm just going to do that f so that uh, we um, aren't burning wood for potatoes because we can just subsist on carrots for now. It's less fun, but it'll be fun. Uh, I could do the beaver made pond trick to get more growable land, but growable land isn't my, you know, uh, the aquifer that I'm building, this giant aqueduct, will do the same thing. So I'll just do it without the trick. Uh, what trick he's referring to is using a water dump spot. I don't want to spend the, uh, the science for the water dump spot, but basically a water dump spot is a reverse water pump where you dump water, you haul and dump water. And the trick is is this, where you build a levee like this. Uh, not like that. You build a levee with a little hole in the middle where you can dump water into. And then um, you would need a, uh, a stairs to it. And then you just dump water and you basically have water sitting and it irrigates everything within 15 tiles. It's, um, it's really handy if you want to open up some additional uh, farming. 
for sure, 100%, but um, I don't think it's something I'm going to necessarily need to employ, because I'm... I now have uh, pretty much all the crops I need and all the trees I need sown and... and, uh, and once we have this uh, large water collection point, uh, we will easily be able to hydrate this whole upper plateau without having to use um, water hauling. I'm saving up for the science required for the first labor statue, because that's going to be an easy way to uh, supply the awe for our, uh, our little beavers. So we're down to 0.4 water. Um, once we get a little bit lower, once we get to like 15%, I will lower these floodgates and resupply the water. But we're almost over the, um, yeah, we're at 10% there. Actually, yeah, I'll do it now. There we go. We have a little bit of flow. Don't worry, the water's not lost. It's just physics calculating. And we went back up to about 50-something percent. And then I can also let a little down below to the trees, because the trees are getting down to like 10%. Now we'll have them sit at like 15. And 47. Perfect. That'll work. The Minecraft method of irrigation, exactly. It's efficient, I suppose. We're almost up to the holy grail of uh, birch trees. And then if I put stairs here, I should get access to all of them. So let me just spend a second to cue them up to be cut. It's like, I feel like it's violating the Garden of Eden, but uh, oh well. I'll eat them apples. And only one day left. Hey buddy, are you chewing up your paws? Thank you for tuning in to Timberborn, which originally streamed live on Twitch. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams, as well as a link to Discord where you can chat about Timberborn in real time. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.